With all the ongoing heat, the extreme heat, you want to make sure that you're looking out for your furry friends as well, not just yourself. Here to talk more about all of this is Dr. Kristen Smith from the Central Hospital for Veterinary Medicine. Dr. Smith, thank you so much for being with us. Hi, you're welcome. Happy to be here. Well, it's obviously very, very hot. And when we think it's hot, I'm thinking our it's definitely potentially even hotter for our animals, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. They are uh, not as able to get rid of heat as we are. So definitely at risk. When w how long is too long when it comes to being outside? I, I have a dog and I know like when I take her outside to go to the bathroom, I try to do it as quickly as possible because, you know, they, she starts to, you know, act a certain way after just a couple of minutes. Is the goal to get them in and out as quickly as possible? Yeah, it depends a little bit on the on the animal, on their age and their size and their breed. But in, in this kind of heat, I would definitely limit any time outdoors to as little as possible. Now, as a veterinarian, what should folks watch out for if you think uh, your dog may be having a problem or your cat or your, you know, whatever pet you have at home? Uh, are there certain things that maybe stick out more than others? Yeah, I think the, the early signs of, of heat stress turning into heat stroke are things like they're slowing down. They don't want to walk as quickly if you're going for a walk. They seem weaker. Um, vomiting and diarrhea are, are classic early signs of a problem. Um, and if they are so bad that they're developing seizures, not responding to you like they normally would, or, or having trouble breathing, then they need to be seen immediately. We have some, uh, this is file footage here playing of some dogs in vehicles. Obviously, that's a, a terrible idea, uh, really, no matter the circumstances, but especially when it's like this, right? Yeah, it only takes a couple minutes for the temperature in a, a locked car to, to get really high. Yeah, yeah, obviously, and that uh, can be deadly, have deadly consequences. You know, lastly, a lot of people yeah. during the pandemic got pets. You know, they were home, they were hanging out around the house, they wanted a friend, someone to talk to in the middle of all of that. Yeah. What's your advice to them right now? Maybe this is their first extreme heat situation with a pet at home. Um, that's a good question. I, I would say, uh, just to take it easy and hang out on the couch when it's this hot out um, and make sure that you have a primary care vet that uh, that your pet has seen for routine care and also know where your closest emergency hospital is in case there's a problem. That is some good advice right there, of course, just like I guess with people. If we think something's wrong, get some help. If you think something's wrong with your pet, get some help for them as well. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Dr. Kristen Smith, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon.